Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Savoy 6. It's Christmas Eve and this is Monday Night Paintball. This month, you're going to start to see 468 hit your local paintball field. And the way they're doing it is through the 468 trade-in program. Right now, if you have a T68, any generation, Gen 1 through 7, if you mail it to us, we're going to take the internals and the barrel and the buttstock and all of the attachments from it. We're going to rebuild that onto a brand new 468 body with a T68 magwell. And we're going to send it out to you. Now, this costs you $250. And when all of the upgraded parts for the 468, including the uh, lock bolt with the chamber indicator, all those parts with D-Magwell come out, for $150 more, you'll be able to buy all of those extra parts that we'll mail out to you. You'll be able to install it yourself. So you'll still have the old parts from your T68 as well as the new parts for the 468. You'll also have both magwells, both this classic T68 style magazine with the feed neck, 20 round um, oval uh, spring design, as well as brand new D magwell uh, with the ambidextrous magazine release. You'll be able to have both uh, to take it out depending on what you want to shoot that day. Um, definitely advise you to switch over to the D-Mag as soon as they hit the market, but for those of you who have a bunch of T68 mags that work perfectly well in your possession and you don't want to get rid of them, you'll be able to use either or uh, depending on which program you choose. Now if you are going to wait for the 468 release because you don't have a T68 or you just like your T68 and don't want to have it you know, disassembled, um, that's fine too and you'll be able to buy you know, a second D-Mag well if that's the option that you're going for. If you do do the trade-in program though, it is going to save you in the long run about $100, um, give or take, and that depends on your shipping costs and everything like that. For those of you worldwide, outside of the United States, there are going to be trade-in programs for your local exclusive dealer. Rat4 UK, for instance, I've seen them on our Facebook page telling customers that they are going to do a similar T68 trade-in program. For those of you in the UK, be sure to ask them um, about dates and times and everything like that, costs and whatnot. Um, they have their own Facebook page as well, or you can reach them on the Rat4 Facebook page or through their website, which is rat4uk.com. All right, guys, so for those of you who are about to get 468s in your possession, I want pictures and videos, and I want them right now. The very first person to post up a video of them playing with a 468 at your local paintball field will be featured in Monday Night Paintball. So be sure to take out your 468 as soon as you possibly can, get some video, and hit me up on Facebook. I'll give you some information on how to get that video to me. Looking forward to hearing from you. All right, guys, time for some paintball news and industry trends. For those of you who are concerned with true realism on the paintball field and making it as close to the modern battlefield as possible, you might want to look into the homemade project of Milo Danger from Danger Info. He made a flying UAV that actually shoots a paintball or two. It's pretty interesting. You should check it out. It's really cool. Do it yourself if you have you know, uh, all the equipment to make it, everything like that. If you do, we would love to to see it. Take some pictures and video, hit it up on our Facebook page. It might even make its way into Monday Night Paintball. The South African Regional Paintball League, or SARPL, just teamed up with Social Paintball. For those of you who would like to follow along with South African League, um, you'll be able to do that through Social Paintball's media, through their YouTube and their Facebook and everything like that. So be sure to check out Social Paintball for any South African 2013 paintball season news. There's a cool scenario going on in Platkill, New York. It's on January 12th, 2013. It's going to cost $65 at Paintball Sports Incorporated. And the scenario is loosely based on the Game of Thrones. It's called North of the Wall, and it looks really interesting. Be sure to check that out if you're in the area. In West Milford, New Jersey, there's going to be a scenario called Operation Mountain Shield at Battle Creek Paintball. It's on January 19th, and it's loosely based off of what would happen after the uh, raid on Osama bin Laden 2013 in Afghanistan. Uh, basically, uh, some intel was gathered from that raid um, that leads to the rest of the Taliban leadership that is still at large, and um, you're going to be capturing them and bringing them to a negotiating table um, to get them to surrender, of course, to coalition forces. For those of you in New Jersey, be sure to go to that. It looks really cool. Um, bring out your new 468s. We would love to get some pictures and video of you dominating the battlefield with them. A couple of weekends ago on December 9th, there was a big charity game in Colton at ASG or All Star Games. It was put on by a bunch of pump players from teams like LA Hitmen, um, AC Tactical, and Savoy 6 route they're representing Rap 4. 
Um, we had some items in the raffle, and we are just really happy to see paintball, which is our favorite hobby, being turned into something just really good with all these charities. There's a challenge for children's every year in Minnesota. Um, recently, Savoy 6 went to the Spartan Race in Malibu, and that benefited the Green Beret Foundation. It's a veteran charity. There's uh, currently um, some relief games going on for uh, victims of Hurricane Sandy, and this one went to cancer research with the It Ain't Chemo Foundation. Wherever you are, anywhere around the world or anywhere in the U.S., if you see one of these pop up, one of these charity paintball events, be sure to go. You're going to want to go play anyway, and all the proceeds are going to benefit you know, these people who really need our help. And it's really cool to see something that we enjoy being turned into something that can actually help some really good people who are in some really bad situations. So thank you for everybody who went. It was about $3,500 got raised you know, through the raffle and everything, and just uh, you know, the proceeds of being paying to be there. Um, be sure to get involved wherever you're at. Um, definitely give you a big, warm, fuzzy feeling and help some really good people out. Now this scenario event was put on our Facebook page by one of you guys by the name of Hercules. Um, he asked for us to mention it in Monday Night Paintball. It's going on March 24th in Pemberton, New Jersey at On Target Paintball. It's called Cell Team 6. And what's really cool about this one is that the rental markers for it. This is a MAGFIT only event and the rentals are going to be four, six, eights. That's right. If you want to get your hands on one and you want to test it out before you actually purchase a four, six, eight or save up the money for it or whatever you want to do in New Jersey, March 24th, you're gonna get your chance. It's a really cool scenario. Uh, the storyline has stuff to do with like terrorist cells and it looks pretty, pretty epic and it's a really cool feel too. We're really looking forward to it. For those of you on the East Coast who've been screaming for a MAGFED only event, this is your chance, all right? March 24th, Pemberton, New Jersey, on target paintball. Uh, we're gonna have a link on our Facebook page. I'm gonna post it up right now for you guys to go ahead and pre-register. Registration ends March 10th though but you got plenty of time. That's like, what, like over three months away. You're good to go. So, for those of you who want a MAGFED only event on the East Coast, New Jersey, on target paintball, make it happen. All right, guys, for this week's tactical tip, I'm gonna hand over the stage to Murphy and Smurphy from Savoy 6. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Savoy 6, they are our flagship team that operates out of Southern California. They're involved with veteran charities, and a lot of them are veterans themselves, like Murphy, who's a US Marine. So, with no further ado, Murphy from Savoy 6. Hey, what's going on? This is Murph with Savoy 6 Scenario Paintball Team. So going over my gear, what I roll out on the field. So I got my uh, A5 with a grenade launcher on there. Uh, simple trigger, just uh, extended, so I can uh, you know, alternate fingers if it's been a long day. Sometimes your uh, hand starts cramping up. So what else do I roll? I got pockets. I keep some uh, 12 gram uh, cartridges on there if I'm taking my uh, rocket launcher or I'm uh, taking more grenades out there maybe I need my fill station to fill them if it's a long game I, uh, I like to keep some paint on the front uh, I got some uh, holders in the back if it's a bigger game I'll have some stuff uh, back there also if uh, my pockets are full with uh, gear to wipe uh, uh, mask kits if it's a scenario game you, know, you can't rely on the referee to be there to wipe you so you got to wipe yourself so if I need some extra pocket space what I'll actually do is I have uh, these uh, little extra tabs where I can put pods in there and I'll put something in the pod and then I can just reach up, click it, and then now I got a smoke grenade in my hand or paint grenade or whatever I'm uh, using that day. One handy thing that I like to use a lot is I got my little uh, high speed, uh, low drag dump pouch here. I put, like I got a radio in it right now. I, uh, I put rockets in it when I'm using my rocket launcher. I'll put an empty pod just to throw it there if I'm in the middle in the, of a, a firefight when I reload it. You know, anything and everything. This thing's really handy and it rolls up and Velcro shut if I'm not using it. So I have a belt. If I'm employing a pistol that day, I'll put the belt on my, uh, or the pistol on my belt. And that's pretty much uh, what I roll with. And I just have a couple, uh, you know, a little bit of swag you know, uh, showing uh, me and my team, but that's pretty much it. Hi, this is Sparfy. I wanted to talk about the gear that I use. Uh, first thing is my marker. My marker is probably uh, one of the smaller ones on the field. I just use just a regular um, BT4. So it does everything I need to do. Um, I use a freak barrel. The great thing about this, the way my marker works, is I love it because being a smaller player, it's super lightweight. And I can play all day when the other players are getting a little bit tired. And with this freak barrel, I've been really, really happy with it. It's been super accurate. And I'm not the kind of player that has to fire the most shots on the field, because one's enough to get you out, and I might be that one. 
So that's why I like my marker a whole lot. Um, also, uh, if you take a look at my vest, um, I like to have my vest because it has lots of pockets. I usually put my paint in the front. It's easy to access and I'm smaller so it's easy just to grab what I need whenever I need it. Lots of pockets. I usually sit my radio right up in here. Um, I keep spare um, little air cartridges in here. Uh, grenades, just whatever else I need to keep around here. I'll keep in my vest and then I use the remote with my marker and extra paint only if it's a really long game. Usually just four is enough for me. Um, got my lightweight frog shirt. I always wear this. It's a little bit cooler than the standard BDUs and if you have to run in the woods a little bit it's going to protect your elbows and that sort of thing. Keep you a little, keep you from getting some of those thorns and scratched up as much as you can. So the arm's a little bit tougher than the shirt portion which is protected by my vest anyway. Um, my favorite part probably of um, what I use for paintball is kind of funny and I know a lot of players don't use these but my boots are a little bit different. They're actually hiking boots. They're Timberland waterproof boots and when other guys are getting wet feet my feet are dry as can be and I've still got my attitude still taking people out in the field so that's pretty much the way I run. Pretty lightweight but like I said I'm on the field all day long and I'm right in the middle of every mission. So thanks a lot. This has been Smurfy. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, Monday Night Paintball is your show. It's generated by the content that you guys post on the Facebook page. So if you want to post something, go to facebook.com slash rat4usa. Thank you.